starting in 5 seconds in om kumar and others versus union of india this court observed that the principle of proportionality was being applied to legislative action in india since 1950 any challenge to restrictions imposed by the government under articles 9 bracket 2 to 19 bracket 6 are tested by courts on the principle of proportionality whether restrictions placed are reasonable or not is adjudicated on the basis of appropriate balance between rights guaranteed and the control permissible under article 19 bracket 2 to 19 bracket 6 when legislation is challenged on the ground the restrictions placed on the fundamental right is disproportionate the court conducts a primary review where the state has to justify the necessity of restricting the fundamental rights proportionality involves balancing test and necessity test the balancing test relates to scrutiny of excessive onerous penalties or infringement of rights or interest and a manifest imbalance of relevant considerations whereas the necessity test requires infringement of human rights in question to be by the least restrictive alternative according to legal experts proportionality in the broad sense broad sense is based on two principal components the first is legality which requires that the limitation be prescribed by law the second is legitimacy which is fulfilled by compliance with the requirements of proportionality in the regular sense its concern is with the conditions that justifies the limitation of a constitutional right by a law there are two main justificatory conditions an appropriate goal and proportionate means an appropriate goal is a threshold requirement and in determining it no consideration is given to the means utilized by the law for attaining the goal a goal is appropriate even if the means of attaining it is or not the proportionate means must comply with three secondary criteria a a national rational connection between the appropriate goal and the means utilized by the law in attain it b the goal cannot be achieved by means that are less restrictive of the constitutional right c there must be a proportionate balance between the social benefit of realizing the appropriate goal and the harm caused to the right the three tests of proportionality propounded by dickson in r versus ox r a the measures adopted must be rationally connected to the objective b the means should impair as little as possible the right or freedom in question c there must be a proportionality between the effects of the measures and the objective k shikri justice in modern dental college and research center and others versus state of madhya pradesh remarked that the doctrine of proportionality is enshrined in article 19 itself he explained that the expression restrictions seek to strike a balance between the freedom guaranteed in article 19 bracket 1 and social control permitted by article 19 bracket 2 to 19 bracket 6 it was further held in modern dental college and research center and others versus state of madhya pradesh that limitations imposed on the enjoyment of a right guaranteed under the constitution should not be arbitrary or excessive to what is required in the interest of public 
it is also relevant to refer to the following factors which have to be kept in mind for examining the reasonableness of a statutory provision as laid down in MRF Limited versus Inspector Kerala Government the basis of various decisions of this court the following principles are clearly discriminable while considering the reasonableness of the restrictions the court has to keep in mind the directive principles of state policy restrictions must not be arbitrary or of an excessive nature so as to go beyond the requirement of the interest of the general public in order to judge the reasonableness of the restrictions no abstract or general pattern or a fixed principle can be laid down so as to be of universal application and the same will vary from case to case as also with regard to changing conditions values of human life social philosophy of the constitution prevailing conditions and the surrounding circumstances a just balance has to be struck between the restrictions imposed and the social control and why says by clause 6 of article 19 prevailing social values as also social needs which are intended to be satisfied by restrictions have to be borne in mind there must be a direct and proximate nexus or a reasonable connection between the restrictions imposed and the object sought to be achieved if there is a direct nexus between the restrictions and the object of the act then a strong presumption in favor of the constitutionality of the act will naturally arise it is pertinent to refer to the observations made by justice m jagannatha rao in om kumar and others versus union of india regarding proportionality in connection with article 14 of the constitution of india which are as under so far as article 14 is concerned the courts in india examined whether the classification was based on intelligibility differentia and whether the differentia had a reasonable nexus with the object of the legislation obviously when the court considered the question whether the classification was based on intelligible differentia the courts were examining the validity of the differences and the adequacy of the differences stop